Hello guys, this is Dr. Quarter Fix. Today we have a Toyota Corolla 2004 model. The customer just called me a moment ago that uh, he started the car and uh, the car will not drive even in D. So I'm here to diagnose it. This is it on the park. I got it to reverse the car engage, neutral engage drive it's not going you can see the engine revving but it's not going anywhere so what could be the problem let me show you exactly what the problem is go through with my computer scan we put the car in the park let me show you so if you have this problem should know what to do with it right now so we're gonna go ahead okay so we'll go ahead and select Toyota others engine select and show you where the problem is coming from we'll go to the system selection all system ECT yes wait for it to load it's gonna be a very quick tutorial when I show you here then I go to the root fault code I see the fault code that you have right there okay you can see right there that's a P705 transmission range input sensor so as it is right now I'm gonna shut the car off I'm gonna show you where it is and pull my OBD dongle so I'm gonna shut the car off in this case there is nothing you can do than to replace this part i've actually blogged about it on my youtube video but hasn't gotten this bad and that one so let me pull my diagnosis scanner out okay well, so these are Yes. Uh-uh. Former neighbor. Oh uh, no. Uh uh, you real? Oh uh, so fine here. Okay. Hello guys. Oh, you can see right there that's the safety neutral switch aka uh, transmission range sensor so if you are going to lose it you have a 10 bolt 10 knot uh, 10 bolt holding it up and the down part and you have 12 here and you have 12 here so you can use a 38 ratchet and a 10 socket and a 12 socket to actually get it uh, loosed up where you're going to be finding it hard a little bit hard is to remove this gear because if you don't get this one out it's not going to come out so what's the trick to remove it for a stuck one like this it should have been very easy but it's stuck because of rust so you need to add some uh dw40 on it or brake fluid to ease it off it's already coming out but it's gonna be hard so you gotta keep wiggling it up and down like this to get it out so there's 10 here there's 10 here and there's 12 here that hold it in place here and there's 12 here so you're just gonna keep wiggling it up and down and get it 12 like this then buy it from the back here and press it right press it from here press it from here and uh, it's gonna be coming out gently until when it come out but technically that's it now if you are replacing it before replacing it you wanna check this for corrosion because there's gonna be some time if it's corrosion that's causing it if you replace it it's not gonna work and check the pins if there's any broken one 
some of these things can be serviced, some of them cannot be serviced. So if it's not serviceable, then go ahead and replace it. And if it's serviceable, go ahead and service it and save yourself some money. Just lose it, split it apart, then uh, use uh, gasoline to wash it and a toothbrush to brush it clean so that the contact becomes clean. Then couple it back. Okay, last note. You can see right here. Just keep wiggling it and that's it right here. Let me show you. This one is out. You just have to keep wiggling it like that. And that's that's it here. So you can see a lot of rust in there. Let's see that's the reason why it won't come out. Okay, so this one is out. And the next one there, we have another one. Oh my goodness, I just hope that one is not locked in there. Because if it's locked, I didn't come with any spanner to actually lose it out. I'm setting that one right there is gonna be a headache to replace to to get it off because okay to get that off you need to get like 22 socket or just a spanner to lose out that one that's actually stuck in the sensor. You see it right there. So you tuck it anti-clockwise. Now, after tucking it anti-clockwise and get it uh, removed, let's come. Okay, guys, you can see right there. This is the old one here. If I can shine a light on it so you can see it, it lost some pins there and you can see a lot of corrosion there. So this is the one that is bad we're going to be replacing. And this is the one I got from a pastor, a used one which is still held. You can see how shiny the pins are. So I'm going to be installing it into the system right now. So when you want to get this, if suppose it's a used part you want to get, you want to make sure that you get a matching one that is uh, in good condition because if you don't you're gonna be pretty much going back to the market again so I checked every parameters even the parts numbers to make sure that they are matching before trying to get this so let me go and install it into the system and I'm gonna test it and see if it uh, drive on D which I'm certain it's gonna do then I'll clear any error code which is related to P0705 and uh, this car should be good to go so let me go ahead and install it now here i'm gonna be chopping off this uh, wiring harness and get this one inside so if you want to do that you want to make sure that every color matches so you don't make any mistake because if you make any mistake there's gonna be a problem so here you want to match it color by color and uh, by my own calculation there is no any two colors that matches here any of the wire color code so that's a safe uh, a safe measure for you if you're trying to replace this because this has a better uh, socket and it have um, it have some sort of uh, waterproof that's unbroken like this one here unlike this one here so that's what's gonna take me a little bit time to get this done and make sure you have it uh, well heat shrinked when you join it so that uh, it's properly done so let me pause the video here and uh, when i do when i'm done i will give you details of how it is and get back okay here you can see how i've made this so far that's how you should do it and use a heat shrink like this to actually separate it all as a very thick edition so this is the old one here we'll replace so if we get this one back inside the system now everything should work fine and uh, pretty much that is how you should do it so let me go ahead and fit this pack in place and uh, we start testing everything from scratch and if you expect less but but uh, for it to work as expected <laughs> 